Hi, I'm Dr. H from Magic Experiments, where science should be available to everyone. T today I have with me my wonderful assistant, Stephanie. What are we doing today, Dr. H? Today we're going to do an experiment where you guys at home can make your own thermometer. How does a thermometer work? So, a thermometer works basically by measuring the temperature, whether you're inside or outside, against the liquid that's inside the container. In this case, I'm going to show you at home how you can make it. You just take an ordinary bottle, you get a straw, you get a cap, you close it, you put some rubbing alcohol and water inside the bottle, and then what happens is, as the temperature changes, the liquid will rise or sink. Or, as we learned in school, when we have a hot liquid, it expands, and when we have a cold liquid, it contracts and sinks. Okay? So we actually have that simulated right here. We have hot water, you can see the steam coming up. We have room temperature water in the middle. And then we have ice water on the end. Okay? So, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask Stephanie to help me take out the room temperature, but if she wouldn't mind just to grab it by the cap. Okay? Hold it up. So you're going to see that the liquid is actually right where the, li with the liquid inside the straw is what you're looking at to see how it grows. So we're going to put it into the hot water. And what happens in hot water, Steph? It contracts. Okay. It, it actually expands, not contracts. Okay. So heat expands, okay, and rises up the straw. Okay. So it sometimes gets confusing. But heat, if you think about it, if you're very hot and I excite you, get all excited, it actually rises. Okay, it starts to get all excited. Okay, so what you're going to see is that the liquid is actually starting to rise up the straw. Can you see that, Steph? Yeah. Okay, so if we let it sit there for a little while, it will come to what we call a steady state or equilibrium. It will come to a point where it can't rise anymore. So what you can do is you can actually use this as a control and say, measure the temperature, you know what the temperature is, and then mark it on your straw. All right. So if you can see, it's it's reached up, okay. And then let me just lift it up for the guys at home so they can take a little bit better look, okay. So you can see that it's rising up, okay. Now if I put it into the ice, now let's see, Steph. This one you're gonna. This one, what's gonna happen here with the ice? It's gonna contract. It's gonna contract. That's right. So what does contract mean, Steph? It's going to come together. Right? So what's going to happen is over time the liquid is going to sink and it actually sinks lower than where the liquid is because it's contracting. So this is a way you can see how scientists use the thermometers to measure our temperature outside. Actually I have one that is one of my favorites. It's called a Galileo thermometer and it's built on the exact same principles that I have here except that each one of these little balls has a different amount of liquid in it. And it actually rises and settles depending on what the temperature is inside your room. Okay? So if you're interested and you want to learn more about this experiment, check us out at magicexperiments.com.